This is the eHealth Radio Network, your source for health advice on demand. And now your host, Eric Michaels. Thanks for joining us once again here on the Health Radio Network. This is your host, Eric Michaels. Today on the program, we're speaking with Emily Fritchie, a holistic skin therapist whose cutting-edge approach to dramatic skin transformation has made her a respected trendsetter among her peers in the field of aesthetics and cosmetic surgery. Emily is also an award-winning product formulator and an expert on the use and application of herbal medicine and botanical skin treatments for aging and problem skin conditions. And Emily, thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Thank you for having me, Eric. And you're certainly more than welcome and certainly looking forward to hearing from you as well. So for starters, I understand you're known as the skin whisperer. What does that mean? I'm sure you've grabbed the curiosity of the listening audience already. Well, that's a I get asked that often. Uh, that was a name given to me by my clients years ago, and it was really kind of in passing. And one of my clients was talking to a friend in the reception area of my skincare clinic, and I heard her make reference to me using that term. And I said, "Um, excuse me, what did you just say? She said, what, you mean the skin whisper? I said, yes. She said, because I don't know how to describe the work you do any other way. That really was a very honest name that stuck. And when I asked her that, she said, you are not like anybody else. Your approach, what you do and the results I get when I try to tell my friends about your practice and your services there. I can't tell them I went to get a facial because that's not what you do. It's just totally original. And the results are just so immediate. So that's where that came from. And it stuck. And understandable as well. And I'm sure that made you feel really good to hear that for the first time as well. How did you become so passionate about healthy skin? Talk to us about that. Wow. Uh, Well, uh, the short answer is my own problem skin conditions when I was a young person. And that was back in the day where we had two places to go for help. That was the doctor's office or to the department store to the cosmetic counter. There was no in between. I didn't know what aesthetic there was no such thing as aesthetics back then and uh, that was in the certainly in the 70s so um, I was determined to understand the why behind the what of what I was dealing with and the other big factor was the uh, skin conditions that were uh, prevalent in my family and my father was in and out of the dermatologist office with skin cancer after skin cancer over and over most of his life and his sister's skins were very um, problematic and I was the I wanted to know why you know and medicine at the time uh, could only offer a, a symptom treatment using a drug that what I determined ultimately suppressed a symptom but didn't help me understand what was really going on and I knew that there was a root cause that had not been identified so it led me down a road of many years of studying everything from cosmetic ingredients to nutrition wellness and health and I've studied with Amish herbalists in intercourse Pennsylvania all the way to plastic surgeons in Dallas, Texas. So it kind of has crossed the, because I think outside the box and I did not come from an aesthetically trained position, which a lot of people would, I was doing this before there was such a thing as aesthetics because I wanted to correct my own issues. So the passion comes from what I've learned and how how much this information can help so many people that are going through revolving doors of trial and error to try to find help and assistance for um, aging and problem skin conditions. Certainly appreciate your response, and that is most helpful without a question. Now, here's a big question for you. Why is skin care so important for overall health? I'm sure listeners need to hear what you have to say. Because the skin is the largest organ of the body. It's a part of the respiratory system. It takes in oxygen. It gets rid of waste. And it protects the glands from outside uh, damage. And taking care of the skin is huge because, for example, so many skins are uh, that are, let's use this example, uh, redness, rosacea, constant um, 
dry, red, irritated skins can be caused for many things, but ultimately it comes down to that acid mantle or the barrier function of the skin being damaged, which means the surface is ablated, it's open, and now bacteria can penetrate through the skin into the body and cause even bigger problems and ultimately lead to things like yeast and candida. And I see that from skins that are have been treated with too much acid to skins that have all types of uh, itises and disorders. So understanding the function of the skin and matching ingredients to skin condition is where so many amazing things can happen uh, to give relief and then understanding the internal role of what the root causes of any individual situation is can really change lives. So that's why I'm so passionate about this, is about matching ingredients to skin condition and helping people understand where to focus because there's so much out there, people are overwhelmed with information these days. Isn't that the truth? And we really do appreciate what you do in the space as well. Today, we're speaking with Emily Fritchie, a holistic skin therapist whose cutting edge approach to dramatic skin transformation has made her a respected trendsetter among her peers in the field of aesthetics and cosmetic surgery here on E-Health Radio's General Health and Skin Care Channels, a part of the E-Health Radio Network. Now, another question for you, Emily, what is one of the top skin care mistakes many people make? Over-moisturizing and under-detoxifying. Let me explain. Dry skin, for example, for whatever reason, whatever skin type, and the treatment is, or the first instinct is to lubricate the surface of dead, dry skin. And I see this day after day after day of people over moisturizing and under exfoliating the skin, again, getting to the root cause of why the skin is dry to start with, right? So by avoiding and bypassing the single most important step of any corrective skincare program, I don't care what the skin issue is, is cleansing and detoxification without stripping the skin and bringing the pH level of the skin back into balance. If that is done, the dry skin oftentimes will clear itself because dead dry layers that are the dry skin you're trying to treat are actually removed. And now the skin is not as dry and can receive any good product that you put on there. So cleansing and exfoliation is, should be the focus rather than moisturizing, uh, moisturizers and serums to, to begin with, to balance the skin, to get the result that you're looking for. Well, your response to that is, is some big information, eye-opening information for sure, and really appreciate your response. Also, what is your top skincare tip for the winter? And we're certainly in the winter time. If you're above the equator, get into some of the details there. I'm sure listeners would appreciate it. Right. Change your skincare routine. You want to change it up to very soothing products. You want to uh, skip the acids. You want to use very gentle, creamy cleansers, and you want to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate from the inside out. Uh, moisture and ingredients to look for would be things like um, omega-3 fatty acids, seaweed, um, jewelweed, comfrey root. These are wonderful ingredients to look for in a product that will soothe and calm the skin and protect the barrier. So you want to go richer in your moisturizer, lighter in your cleansers, but match up the ingredients so the skin can be soothed and not stripped and it can protect you against chapping and also uh, soothing skin balms that can protect the skin, especially if you're in uh, bitter climates like Chicago and New York. Uh, the skin can get chapped very, very easily. And I make uh, a beautiful soothing skin butter and healing skin balm called Rapid Repair that's made especially for that, that can be like a jacket for your skin without clogging the pores. So hydrate, nourish, and change up your skincare routine and go to more calming skincare products for the winter. Really do appreciate the advice. We can't thank you enough again for joining us here today on E-Health Radio. And we cannot get enough information on skin care and skin care health. So thank you so much. I understand you have your line of products. Where's the best place for information on that as well as where can listeners be in touch accordingly and shop around? Uh, well, our website is sunshinebotanicals.com. 
You can find us on all the social media channels. And if I can just share one little piece, uh, I've got to share two things with your listeners. We have a product called Extreme Hydration Soothing Skin Butter that is the most unique, hydrating, anti-redness, amazing repair for super dry or red skin that won't leave your skin feeling greasy. And I made it especially for this. Please check that out. Face, neck, and hands. And Rapid Repair Balm and the elixir are being used by plastic surgeons even post-procedure because they're so healing for the skin. You can check us out online um, and uh, Facebook and Instagram. Follow us there. And we love to answer questions and be very specific on how we can help because we are on a mission to help as many people as possible with the right information for them. Again, listeners, that is sunshinebotanicals.com. Emily, all the best. And again, thanks for joining us here today on the Health Radio. Thank you so much, and you have a blessed 23. And thank you, and you as well. We've been speaking with Emily Fritchie, a holistic skin therapist whose cutting-edge approach to dramatic skin transformation has made her a respected trendsetter among her peers in the field of aesthetics and cosmetic surgery. And once again, for all the details, visit sunshinebotanicals.com. And again, this has been your host, Eric Michaels, and we do thank you for your continued support of the Health Radio Network. Join us again soon for another episode that will help further expand your knowledge on those things that are important to your health and wellness. For more Health Radio reports, we invite you to visit our main radio channel site at healthradionetwork.com. And as always, we do thank you for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in to the eHealth Radio Network. For more information or to subscribe to this podcast, visit eHealthRadioNetwork.com.